Hello YouTube again. Um, just a quick one today. I wanted to talk about chickens. More specifically, the chickens I keep within the Lawson's Market Garden um, and how invaluable they are and how great they are at living sustainably, reducing waste and uh, just being uh, so much more connected with nature and natural processes. Um, the whole of the household is heated through our uh, wood fire, our uh, agar. Um, and I recently spoke to a neighbour who suggested using the ash from the agar, the wood ash, for the chickens to dust baby in, which I absolutely love. So originally, before I extended the run, which I'll show you in a moment, this was the only dry area, sorry, the only dry area in the run below the coop. Um, so the chickens instinctively use this area to dust bathe in. Um, specifically this little corner. <laughs> so I've seen like, literally all nine of them in there at once, just rolling around in the, in the ash. It's very, very, very cute. Um, but you can see I'm simply just gonna throw it in. Um, they get in there, and the dust is fairly essential for their health and well-being. It's a form of self-medicating for them I suppose. They um they roll around in it, they get it amongst their feathers, onto their skin, and it reduces the risk of mites and other pests and diseases. Um, chickens are very very good at looking after themselves. But we can go into more detail about it in a moment when I talk about the food. But the slang with the coop it's just four posts hammered into the ground. Uh, I've put four pieces of ply board, stuck those on the walls. One of them is attached to some hinges. Inside, I've put a shelf and an open mesh floor in. The open mesh floor allows a lot of the mess to fall through and all of it. I, I, I miscalculated. I, I thought that it would be very low maintenance and all of the mess would fall through to the bottom. Um, every now and then, once a week I have to go in there and scrape it out. No big deal. The nesting boxes themselves, up on this shelf and on the base, are simply just green totes. I can take these out entirely. Um, when they're dirtier, I either empty them into the compost heaps right behind me, or sometimes I'll empty them right into the run and let the chickens scratch around and incorporate that into the deep mulch bedding. Um, very very low maintenance this was my whole plan for the entire market garden is well i obviously work is essential um minimum input maximum output i want to have as many systems providing as much food sources for me in the household as possible without having to do lots of back breaking work and chickens are a, a brilliant <laughs> part of the system but they are laying between three and i think yesterday we had seven eggs um very interesting fact whilst we're here. This is a cream leg bar. She has slightly blue ears and the colour of a chicken's ear is representative of the colour egg it will lay. So I've been told and through experience, specifically through leg bars, um, it's true. I've got some rangers and some Jersey giants too. Varying in ranges of brown. They all have red ears. So not necessarily entirely accurate because I haven't got any red eggs. 
That being said, they are very, very pretty still. The chicken run. Again, made from four inch posts, hammered into the ground, some deconstructed Harris fencing. Very, 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 very simply thrown together with some cable ties. This whole plot, the whole of the, the original 125 square meter market garden is potentially going to become a building site within the next year or so. So everything here is, is temporary. Hence the, um, the lack of professional construction and long-term use of this area. <laughs> but it serves its purpose perfectly. The deep mulch bedding is amazing. I don't go in there and clean it out. I just throw stuff more, more stuff on top. Um, I had a, a compost heap that collapsed. Uh, so I've been emptying that into the, the, the run. The chickens go wild for it. They scratch around, they look for bugs in there. Um, over time it's going to break down and by which point, by which time I come to remove this and move the chickens onto my new larger plot, this will all be amazing compost. This is basically one big giant compost heap. Um, building fertility which I will then spread onto the land. Uh, the chickens are an incredible part of that system as well. The chickens are fed primarily on food scraps. Uh, it was my nan's 80th birthday yesterday, so this little stash here, this little pile, uh, we collected all of the food scraps from the pub. <laughs> we look like weirdos, but um, we got to break the norms, right? Times are changing. So we collected all of the food scraps. The chickens have been going crazy over that this morning. I also feed them on some gone over crops, the winter crops. I feed them rocket and chard and radish that I've allowed to go over this winter. I haven't cleared the beds, apart from the ones that I've replanted with garlic. I've allowed the beds just to continue. I, the, the plants I was growing last year have become green manures, essentially, and feed for the chickens. But um, whilst we're on the topic of food, in the market garden, I've let a lot of stuff go over as it's winter. Um, I come out here, and this is rocket that's gone to seed. Well, I haven't really let it go to seed because I've been picking it for chicken food. This is the last of it, but I'm just picking the scraps. You might see already the chickens are reacting by running over. They know what's happening. They know what's going to happen. And they literally strip the leaves. You can see previous feeds in here where there's just stems left, and they love this stuff. They just pick all of the green leaves off. The chickens con will have a constant supply of non-GMO layers pellets and non-GMO corn as well as a few scraps, um, the, the, the green manures from the garden. And they always have a big bowl of water that I generally top up with apple cider vinegar and garlic for general health. So, so this was the original coop, the run here. Last month, I more than doubled the size of the run with some more free materials they have a large dry area now with this vent with this roofing which I plan to put a small gutter on uh, and collecting the rainwater in a water butt here perhaps um, preventing me from having to travel so far to the tap to fill up their drinking water minimum input minimum <laughs> minimum input maximum output I don't want to have to be walking too far the water source is collected here and it's used here also used for watering the plants this summer this is Cuckoo. She is one of a kind. I have multiple chickens of each variety except for Cuckoo. She is one and only. I don't know what breed she is, but she lays a beautiful pale uh, brown egg with dark brown speckles. Uh, I think they're very happy in there. <laughs> they're looking good. Um, I think that thus concludes the chicken coop and the run as it stands at the moment. They eat all our food scraps in the kitchen. Any eggshells we use, we dry on the agar, we crush up into a um, almost like a grit and we feed back to them, which feeds them calcium, which doesn't deplete their calcium sources within their body when they're laying eggs. Um, there are only three hybrids, the rest are all pure breeds of Jersey Giants and cream leg bars. They're not forced to lay any extra eggs per day, they lay as and when their natural cycle allows them to. Um, the eggs I collect are not being sat on, so they're not being laid by broody hens. <laughs> and they're just awesome to be around, I love them. They're great. Have you laid an egg yet? 
I stood here the other day and I actually watched an egg come out of a chicken. Um, quite an enlightening experience. I don't know if many people get to experience that in their day-to-day -day lives. <laughs> kind of grace to some people, I'm sure. But, um, she hasn't made yet. I've disturbed her. I'll leave her to it. If you have any questions regarding chicken keeping, or my processes, uh, any suggestions on how I could improve things, I do plan on making lots of improvements already. This is a setup that I've established using what I have, where I am right now. The plan is to build a bigger coop, one that I can walk into with a head height roof, uh, improving systems constantly, always improving efficiency is the goal. I plan eventually to have a flock of maybe 30 to 40 birds laying a variety of pastel shade eggs and this will be available to my market garden customers. Um, I have many customers that are vegan. Uh, it's a topic of discussion, I know. Veganism, it is January, Veganuary and all of that. Um, I've written posts about this already, so I don't need to go into too much detail on YouTube. You can go onto my Instagram and read my views on chicken keeping and the consumption of eggs from my backyard chickens and how that relates to vegan arguments. I do my best to keep the chickens as happy as possible. I hope you can see that it is a far cry from how chickens are kept commercially. Um, these chickens are practically free-ranging, they have a lot of space, they have a lot of entertainment, they have a lot of food, um, lots of things to climb on, lots of wood chip and horse manure and food scraps to scratch around in. Uh, they are under no pressure, they didn't start laying eggs until about 45 weeks after I got them I think. Um, and in my opinion, they're pretty damn happy. I'm happy to consume eggs that they lay. That they lay. I've heard recently that commercial eggs are sometimes about 45 days old by the time they reach the customer. Whereas yesterday, uh, we were consuming eggs within 45 minutes of them being laid. They, were, they couldn't get fresher. I mean, it's, it's a food source that is it's on our doorstep, it, it's zero food miles, it's, there's no waste, it's a closed loop system. Um, it's beautiful, it's, it's, it's permaculture, it's finest, I love it. it uh, if you want to know anything else, feel free to add me on Instagram. I have two pages, my personal account, which is at Danny underscore Seely, that's me. Or you can add my business account, which is at Lawson's Market Garden. I also have Facebook. You are watching YouTube. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.